Hi everyone, welcome to DIY Ideas. So today I have a lovely fall scarf for you and I'm also going to show you the wool that I used for this project. So if you like the colors, you can make the exact same one. I'm also going to show you how to make a tassel here. So I think they look really lovely and um, this wool works perfect with it, of course. So yeah, you're going to learn how you can do that really simply as well. So yeah, apart from that, it's going to be a beginner's project, so it's going to be really easy to do. And yeah, let's get started. Okay, so this is the Rico design wool that I showed you in the scarf form. So I'm interested to see what it will look like in the end. But yeah, it's called Chic Unique. It's 200 grams, 310 meters. It's 75% acrylic, 15% wool, and 10% polyamid. It's pretty thick and I really like the colors. So if you would like this exact same one to make the scarf, um, it's the color number two. And yeah, let's get started. We're taking it out from the middle and we're finding um, or we're looking for the beginning yarn, beginning thread. So you see the shade that we're starting with. Okay, there we go. So we're going to start with a magic ring today. So in case you don't know how to do this, I'll show you. So you make a little ring and you take your um, needle through and the thread up and then you basically get your magic ring. So now we're going to do a couple of chains. Four. After the four, we're going to do three trebles. So each treble is going to need a yarn over to get started. And then through two loops and through the two that are left on the needle or hook. So three, four trebles total. So I started here with the chains and then I did a chain for um, skipping, so for a little bit of room, then three trebles, one chain for um, a little bit of room, and then again the last treble. So let's do that again in row two. So we're going to need four chains to start with and that's how you're going to start every row. Then we go into this little spot here and we do three trebles there. So this spot is actually around the chain from the last row. Then here to bridge over this section, we're doing a chain and then again into this bigger spot. So around the chain, we're going to do again four trebles or three trebles, sorry. And the third one, then we're again going to do a chain and we're going to do the fourth last treble here. So this way you basically get a little bit of room for the next row. So you can see here where we did the chains that you have a little bit more room than where the trebles are and that's exactly what we want. So this is what we have after two rows. I can definitely say that the yarn is perfect for working with it so I'm having no trouble working with it and now what we want to do is do four chains again as always and then three trebles into the one spot below. After you do that, you want to do a chain for the distance for bridging over the bottom ones we have. And then we're again going to do three trebles around this little chain. And then again, a chain to skip with and again, three trebles, a chain and a treble to end with. So that's going to be the end of our row three. So I'm going to do a couple more rows, but this is basically all there is to it. So if you've understood everything so far, then you already know how to continue. 
So we're always starting with four chains, just remember that, and then we're always doing three trebles, one chain, three trebles, one chain, until we get to the end. And when we do the last three trebles, we do a chain and one last treble. And that's it. Almost done. Okay. So you see here, row four also has four packs. So that's how you always know, or four boxes, whatever you want to call them. So this is how you know where you're always at. I have quite a bit more to do, but I do have a color change incoming. So I'm really excited about that. And yeah, I think we're going to have a little bit of pink and then we're going to have a yellowish beige here. Um, then it's going to be a little bit of orange and reddish. And then I think it's actually going to repeat itself, or at least it looks like it. So we're going to have a little bit darker color here, and then again the lighter color. So different shades, but it's still kind of pinkish, um, purplish, and then beige, and then all over again. So yeah, um, I'm going to show you what I have, and then you're going to see the color changes as well, and the color gradients. So I wanted to show you the first color change. So here we still have the purple and then as I do this treble the color changes and you can see the yellow introducing itself here. So yeah, we're just gonna keep going but you can see that the changes are pretty abrupt in this case since um, we have pastel shades and it's actually really nice I think it actually really looks good. But we have a couple more incoming and you can see that here on the ball or spool in the background. So yeah, I'm going to do a little bit more and then I'm going to show you what I did. Okay, you guys, so I have a pretty nice size. And now I want to show you how much I have left over. So when doing triangle scarves like this, um, as you increase the number of rows, they get longer and longer because each one gets a new box, basically. So yeah, I didn't have enough for a whole new row. So I'm going to do the tassel out of this and then I'm just going to connect it to one of the ends. So I'm not going to do this at the beginning, but at the two longer ends on those corners. So I'm going to do two tassels total. But you can, of course, do this any way you like. So for now, the scarf is done and you can see how cuddly and how lovely this looks. So now what we want to do is get to our leftover yarn and do the tassel. So first we want to shorten the wool and Pull it out and tighten a little bit and then we can get on with the tassel. So I'm taking both ends because I want two exact halves. Okay, this is the half, so I'm cutting here to have two exact same sizes. And you can see my block here. You can take a piece of cardboard, whatever you have. And now what we want to do is just go around that. Okay, so I left a little bit um, on here without going around and we're going to need that for connecting and for tying a knot. You're going to see in a moment what I mean. So after cutting this, I want to go underneath this and I just want to tie a regular knot. When we have that done, we can take it off of our piece of cardboard or notebook. And then we want to take 
on one side and just cut in the middle. Make sure that your knot is really in the middle. Then here we're also going to shorten this and what we now want to do is just take the leftover thread and go around here. And then do another knot here to keep it in place. And now you can give it a haircut and have it any way you like it. Okay, so now we're going to connect this and it's going to be super easy. We're just going to do a knot. And then what we can do when we do that, um, we can just take these leftover pieces and weave them in, of course. So yeah, it's pretty easy and the next one we're going to do the same way. Okay, so I weave in or wove in um, the leftover pieces to hide them a little bit and you can see here the entire scarf now and all of the colors as well as the tassels on the end. I'm also going to show you from a little bit different perspective what it looks like and so that you can see all the colors that we have on here but I think it looks lovely and it's definitely going to keep you warm this fall or even this winter. So yeah, if you guys enjoy the project, feel free to let me know what you think and I'll see you in our next video. Have a great day. Bye!